up, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video is we're gonna do two room decors that you can do also to spice up your room. And I make sure that the materials that we'll be needing in this project is easy to find and that you don't really need to buy it outside because it's still not okay to go out. For this DIY is I'm gonna do two room decors. First is this DIY Spotify glass. This is the first one and the second one is I'm just gonna put it here the picture. So this is the second one that we're gonna do for this DIY. So by doing this project, this Spotify transparent frame, real I like it but the thing that I don't like about this DIY is that it's sticker situation because that is how I did this one. So the thing here is if you don't have a marker, a cut cutter, or a the transparent sticker paper, I will show it to you in this video on how I did this one. And yes! And by the way, just be careful about the edges. So yeah, it depends on the glass that you have. But if you have this kind of glass, just be careful because the edges are sharp and that you may cut yourself so be careful so if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell button so you won't miss any of my videos so yeah so without further ado let's jump right into the video for this diy spotify glass art First thing you'll do is to edit the photo that you're gonna use. So here I just open PixArt, then go to Sticker and search for Blackpink Spotify since that is what I'm gonna use for this DIY. Then I just adjust the size and by the way, I'm gonna use an A4 plain band paper. And after that is I'm gonna insert the photo of the song with its code. So I got this from Spotify. Since I want the template to have that black icons and words, I just click Effect. Then in the color sections click the negative effect next I'm just gonna insert again a photo but this time I'm just gonna crop it until the song code is the only one that can be seen in that picture and then I'm just gonna adjust it until I have that black effect after that save the photo and go to Microsoft Word and insert the picture there and adjust its size and then print it and you can use any type of plain band paper that you have so moving on with the materials you're gonna need a glass from an old picture frame print out i printed two just in case a scotch tape scissors a bowl of water an old atm card or any flat object that you have a ruler and a ball pen so here I just traced all of the icons and the words with a black ball pen and honestly any brand will do. Make sure that it is not a friction pen, just a regular ball pen and just traced all of the icons, all of that black ones, the codes, the play buttons and so on. Just trace them all and use a ruler so that it will be straight. After you trace all of those icons, it's just cut the picture. Place a clear scotch tape and rub or press it with an old ATM card or with any flat surface that does the same thing with what I'm doing right now. We are doing this in order for the ink of the pen to transfer on the tape and also to avoid air bubbles. Just do this for about 5-10 to 10 minutes. I suggest that you'll use a wider tape so that it will be easy for you but if you don't have it, just make sure that you will overlap the tape if you're just using a smaller one. But the only thing or the problem here is that there will be those line effects or like overlapping effects so if you don't want that just use a or buy a larger one so after you place tapes on the printout is you will cut those Then get your bowl of water and place it there for about 10 minutes. So here just get the glass from the frame but be careful when handling this because it is so sharp. Then after you get that one is you will wipe it so that it is clear from dust. Just wipe it after with a dry towel. Here I'm just gonna stick the scotch tape at the back of the photo and the sticky side should face where the picture is facing. Does that make sense? But yeah just make sure that you should cover the entire back of the scotch tape so that it won't be wet or like damaged. 
So after soaking the paper or the scotch tape from the water is just get it out from there and then just peel the paper from the tape and don't worry about the adhesive because it will just get back to its sticky situation after the tape dries and just make sure that all of the paper are not there or like there is no paper residue already so that you will have those clear effect when it dries and that there will be no fogginess or white residue of the paper. So I did two ways regarding on this method. So here as you can see, the ink is much visible than the other one because that one was traced and if you didn't trace it with a black ball pen or a pen, the upper one is the result. So if you're gonna trace it, you will have those more visible ink than the other one. So yes. That's why you should make sure that all of those icons and words are traced. Then leave it to dry and after it, is just stick it on the frame and make sure that you completely remove the paper because if, or if you haven't, you will have those white spots or fogginess on the tape. So and this is the final result. So the other way is to paint it with a white paint, the other is to do it on a Cricut machine. just gonna test if it does really work the codes that I just placed on the artwork and yes as you can see it just scanned it works go check it out I mean go try it yourself so for this DIY is you will need a war that is easy to bend pliers and a photo for a guide. So this is my first attempt and it's kind of big so I just decided to print out a photo so that I will know where to bend the wire and stuff. With this one you can do also a cactus, a cat or any that you want. So basically what you're just gonna do is you're just gonna trace on where to bend or, or make a curve on the photo that you've printed so that it will be easy for you and that you will not mess up as what I've done previously in the first attempt. So yes. I'm just gonna get that part and connect it with a glue stick. And I'm gonna color this one with the spray paint, but you can just use any paint. And after it dries, you can make a stand out of styrofoam. But the thing here is that it is not sturdy enough to support the wire. So I just decided to use cement for the stand. So here I just cut out a box that is the right size that I want it to be. Just put a cement on it and place the wire in the middle and just support it with any object. I just use a styrofoam. So after it dries, just peel off the box. So if you have an extra LED lights at home, you can cover the wire and it will look like this or this. So by the way, you can paint it or you can leave it as it is with that cement finish. And if you want to paint it, make sure that you will smoothen the edges with the sandpaper. And after that, as you can spray paint it or paint it with whatever color you want and just be creative. Yes!
video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and, and hit the notification bell button so you won't miss any of my videos. And comment down below if what videos you want to see next or DIYs on my channel. So, <laughs> so yes, thank you so much guys for watching. Bye-bye.